point of yeah. They're occupying? Yeah, I, mean, I don't know where they're occupying, but they're This is how we get our news now. I know. If somebody like me gets a tax break that they don't need and that the country can't afford, then one of two things are going to happen. Either it adds to our deficit or we're taking something away from somebody else. And that's not right. That's not who we are. Politicians talking about values in an election year. I hear a lot about that. Let me tell you about values. The hard work, personal responsibility, those are values. But looking out for one another, that's a value. The idea of we're all in this together, I am my brother's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, that's a value. we think about the next generation and we're taking care of our planet, that's a value. You know, each of us is only here because somebody somewhere felt responsibility, yes to their families, but also to their fellow citizens, also to our country's future. That's the American story. The American story is not just about what we do on our own. Yes, we're rugged individualists. And we expect personal responsibility, and everybody out there has got to work hard and, 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 and carry their weight. But, but we also have always understood that we, we wouldn't win the race for new jobs and businesses and middle class security uh, if we were just applying some you're on your own economics. It's been tried in our history, and it hasn't worked. It didn't work when we tried it in the decade before the Great Depression. It didn't work when we tried it in the last decade. We, we just tried this. What they're peddling has been tried. It did not work. President, President Lincoln, who, by the way, couldn't win the nomination for the Republican primary right now. In the middle of the Civil War, it helped to make the Transcontinental Railroad possible, the land grant colleges, the National Academy of Sciences. He understood that we're in this together. We've got to make an investment in our futures. It was with the help of Republicans that FDR was able to give millions of returning heroes, including my grandfather, the chance to go to college through the GI Bill. In that same spirit of common purpose, it still exists today. Maybe it doesn't exist in Washington, but out here in Vermont, and all across America, it's there. It's there when you talk to folks on Main Street. It's there when you go to a town hall. It's there when you talk to members of our armed forces. It's there when you talk to people in their places of worship. Our politics may be divided, but most Americans still understand that no matter where you come from, no matter who you are, we rise or fall together as one nation. As one people. I said, uh, 
I, I'm, I'm not a perfect man. Michelle will tell you that. Oh, and, 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 and I, I'll never be a perfect president. But I made a promise to you then that I would always tell you what I believed, and I would always tell you where I stood, and I would wake up every single day fighting as hard as I know how for you. And I have kept that promise. Change will come. We will finish what we started in 2009. 